He is known for developing a phenomenalistic philosophy of science. He is recognized for his influential positivism and imperial critical philosophy. His name is Ernst Mach. Ernst Mach, a renowned philosopher and physicist, was a visionary thinker whose ideas had a profound impact on the development of science and philosophy in the 19th and 20th centuries. Holding a prestigious position at the University of Vienna from 1895 to 1901, Mach delved into the history and philosophy of the inductive sciences, ultimately shaping a phenomenalistic philosophy of science that would leave a lasting legacy. Mach's philosophy emphasized the importance of sensory experiences in understanding the world. He believed that scientific laws were not solely concerned with objective reality but were instead descriptions of our subjective sensations. According to Mach, these laws were constructed to make complex data comprehensible and were, in essence, mathematical functions that captured the essence of sensory appearances. However, Mach's positivism and emphasis on pure experience drew criticism from figures such as Lenin, who argued that this philosophy led to solipsism and denied the existence of nature before human perception. Despite these criticisms, Mach's influence extended beyond philosophy and into the realms of physics. He opposed the atomic theory proposed by Ludwig Boltzmann and others, considering it unwarranted due to the inability to directly observe atomic entities. Mach's ideas would later inspire the Vienna Circle philosophers and contribute to the development of logical positivism. One of Mach's most significant contributions was his principle of relative motion, which caught the attention of none other than Albert Einstein. Einstein acknowledged Mach as a precursor to his own general theory of relativity, citing Mach's principle as one of the fundamental principles underlying his groundbreaking work. However, it is worth noting that Mach himself rejected Einstein's theory before his passing. Despite this rejection, Einstein recognized the importance of Mach's principles and acknowledged that his own theories did not fully align with them, a sentiment shared by subsequent scientists who have made considerable efforts to fulfill Mach's ideals. Ernst Mach's ideas continue to shape the fields of science and philosophy, challenging traditional notions of reality and paving the way for new ways of understanding the universe. His emphasis on sensory experiences and his rejection of unwarranted assumptions have left an indelible mark on the pursuit of knowledge, inspiring generations of thinkers to question and explore the nature of our existence. Ernst Mach, the renowned physicist and philosopher, was born in Schleiss, Moravia, Austrian Empire. Raised in a family of educators, Mach's father and grandfather played significant roles in shaping his intellectual pursuits. From an early age, Mach showed a deep curiosity for the world around him, and this thirst for knowledge led him to become one of the most influential thinkers of his time. Mach's journey into academia began at the University of Vienna, where he studied physics and later received his doctorate in 1860. His early work focused on the Doppler effect in optics and acoustics, but it was his groundbreaking research on shock waves that brought him widespread recognition. Mach and his son Ludwig used innovative techniques like Schlieren photography to capture images of invisible shock waves created by supersonic objects. These discoveries not only advanced our understanding of physics but also had practical applications in fields like ballistics. But Mach's contributions extended beyond the realm of physics. He delved into psychology and physiology, exploring topics such as sensory perception and human balance. His keen observations led to the discovery of phenomena like Mach bands, a type of visual illusion influenced by inhibition. Mach's holistic approach to studying the human experience foreshadowed the later development of Gestalt psychology. However, it was Mach's philosophical ideas that truly set him apart. He developed a form of phenomenalism, asserting that only sensations were real. This perspective clashed with the prevailing belief in the existence of atoms and molecules. Mach famously declared, I don't believe that atoms exist. Yet, his refusal to accept their reality did not hinder his scientific achievements. In fact, Mach's philosophy prompted important discussions and influenced thinkers like Einstein, who later realized that Mach's position was fundamentally opposed to Newton's philosophy. In 1898, Mach faced a severe paralytic stroke, but he persevered and continued his intellectual pursuits. He retired from the University of Vienna in 1901 and entered the Austrian parliament. Despite his declining health, Mach remained active in writing and correspondence until his passing in 1916, one day after his 78th birthday. Ernst Mach's contributions to physics, philosophy, and psychology left an indelible mark on the intellectual landscape. His ability to bridge the gap between disciplines and challenge conventional wisdom continues to inspire thinkers today. Mach's legacy serves as a reminder that curiosity, interdisciplinary thinking, and a willingness to question established beliefs are essential for progress and understanding in our daily lives. Ernst Mach, a renowned physicist and philosopher, dedicated his life to unraveling the mysteries of the physical world. 
His groundbreaking studies in experimental physics led to important discoveries in the fields of light, sound, and fluid mechanics. One of his most significant contributions was the concept of the Mach number, which revolutionized our understanding of high-speed fluid movement. Mach's early research focused on the behavior of light in different media. He delved into topics like interference, diffraction, polarization, and refraction. Through meticulous experimentation, he unraveled the intricate dynamics of light and its interaction with external influences. His findings laid the foundation for further exploration in the field of optics. In 1887, Mach collaborated with physicist photographer Peter Salcher to investigate supersonic fluid mechanics. Together, they presented a groundbreaking paper that accurately described the sound effects observed during the supersonic motion of a projectile. Their research led to the discovery of a conically shaped shock wave, with the projectile at its apex. This revelation was a breakthrough in understanding the behavior of fluids at high speeds. The impact of Mach's work extended beyond the realm of physics. He also made significant contributions to cosmology through his hypothesis known as Mach's principle. This principle proposed that the inertial properties of an object are influenced by the distribution of matter in the entire universe. It challenged conventional notions of space and time, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the cosmos. Throughout his scientific journey, Mach's philosophy intertwined with his research. He believed in the interconnectedness of all things and the recurrence of life in an identical fashion. As he once famously stated, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. This sentiment reflected his belief in the cyclical nature of existence and the unity of all phenomena. Mach's profound insights and groundbreaking discoveries continue to shape our understanding of the physical world. His work on the Mach number revolutionized aerodynamics and hydrodynamics, enabling us to navigate the complexities of high-speed fluid movement. Moreover, his philosophical musings on the interconnectedness of life serve as a reminder to seek harmony and unity in our daily lives. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.